Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of City Skylines in our beautiful city. In the previous episode we started building the industry near the dam and now before I forget it again we shall name a few things. First of all I already apologize if I forgot someone as I mentioned I completely lost track of the comments because I had to relax for a couple of days. I have a lot of work ahead of me. Almost as much work as YouTube, however, this other work is actually paying me. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to it. I'm probably gonna go with a bunch of damn jokes. Really think it's fitting for this area. For the park, we're gonna go with the damned gardens. And I, I really love this pun. Next up, the industry. I already know what I want to do with that. However, I'm gonna change the name a little bit. The suggestion was goddamn industry, but, but I want to make the pun even greater. So now it says good damn industry. <laughs> Sorry, that was my witch laugh. Anyways, last but not least, we have the district itself. Uh, let me have a look at the names there. You know what? Instead of damn damn district, I'm gonna go with that damn district. I love it. TDD for short. Okay, cool. Thanks once again for all the good suggestions. It's always fun to read through them. Now with that out of the way, it's time to set up the shopping district. We are lacking shopping at the moment and I want to start right here. I'm actually going to do a roundabout system as I announced. However, instead of having perfect roundabouts, I want to do this a little more organically. We're going to have a mixture of one-way and two-way roads, but let's get this started with a one-way road right next to our current train track. Okay, we're gonna keep going along the canals. It's gonna be a nice and long road. I'm gonna fix that, don't worry. But I need to plan this out first. So this is all a one-way road. Let's swap to two ways. We gotta make sure to have a couple of intersections that lead together into a smaller roundabout version. Right here we wanna keep going along the forest and then along this road, that's good. So I can come out from here. No, come out from there, that's better. I'm actually gonna go ahead and remove everything here that I created previously as a reference. That was basically just a reminder what I had in mind. But I'm gonna keep going for a little bit. Actually, let me get rid of this just a tad and then we wanna start the other way. But this needs to be one way again. So we wanna loop around here and loop back into this one. Now let's make this a little nicer looking. Okay, not bad. Alright, so far, so good. This is going to be a nicer roundabout eventually, but for now that's good. And I wanna drag a couple of roads, just like that. Hmm, I think we'll have to make some adjustments with Move It. Since it's not a perfect circle, I cannot really use the guidelines. In Move It, I can also show the zonable material. So right here we can see I don't have enough space, but if I move this just slightly further away, we can have more building space. Okay, just move this a little bit, curve that, and now these two roads should be fixed. Let's do the roundabout as well. There we go, not bad, good enough. Okay, now we need to fix the elevation. I mean, this is kind of crazy. <laughs> I'm kind of tempted to leave this cliff in place, actually. Let's move the museum. Actually, let's set up the rope for that. We want to have a nice two-way road leading up to it. Actually, we could place it in the middle and set up another mini roundabout here. I think, yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Otherwise, we have just too much space. This one here, I might... No, this is too close. Darn it. Okay, never mind. We just don't have enough space. So instead, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to curve this around here. Yeah, that's a good idea. I then want to do something crazy and kind of curve around like so. This is not even... Hmm. Uh, actually, it's not bad. It's not bad. Now I want to go into this intersection. I want to do the same thing on the other side. But first, let's place the museum. So this can go somewhere here. And that means we have the space for parking and something other very interesting on the other side, hopefully. So I want you to join up with this. And I also want you to continue. Uh, actually, we're going to go as close as possible to the roundabout. And I just took the wrong road there. Oh, darn it. Everything is wrong now. I want it to go as close as possible to the roundabout. We're not going to build anything inside of the roundabout anyways. 
However, before I forget, let's also set up a bunch of pathways. Now I need to get rid of that annoying snapping. Whenever I try the shortcut for the snapping, for some reason, the game breaks down. So I cannot really do that. Yeah, this way we also prevent anything from being built inside of the roundabouts. Well, now let's see what we can adjust for these pathways. But I think this is now connected, so people have the possibility to go anywhere they like. Huh, it actually even looks nicer. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and start zoning a bunch of things. I'm gonna start right here because I think I can take advantage of being nearby the electricity. I'm still gonna have to find a way to fill this up, actually. So before we do that, we need to make another one-way system. Gonna unpause and, in quotes, speed up the game a little bit. Uh, hold on. Now nobody has a way to get in there because I took care of all the connections. Darn it. I'm gonna take the easy way out for the industry. However, there needs to be... Oh, there needs to be a cargo station. Yes. <gasps> this is perfect. Let's go ahead and set up a cargo station here. I'm just gonna remove the rails. Get into train mode uh, cargo train terminal. Ooh, this needs to be set up a little further away. Gonna get an industry road in the joint. This needs to be enough space. Maybe some are gonna suffer, but I think since it's shopping, they don't really mind. Uh, hold on, I can't make this too extreme. Okay, so I think we're gonna go with a little bridge situation here. Gonna bring this a little bit closer to the station. Okay, train tracks. Let's see what we can do with that. We, first of all, hold the phone. We wanna go straight into the train station. Now, since technically I already made this track beautiful, I'm gonna try to adjust the slope over the course of maybe five nodes. Let's see, uh, slope, there we go. Yeah, that is much better. So now it barely goes up and down. We then want to continue across here. Oh, I love this. This is so much better than before. Now, if we're lucky, we can do exactly that and then move into the second track. Now the question is, do we also want to bypass the station? And I think we want that. What we could do is branch out from here with Road Anarchy. I can do that. And then we're gonna keep going here for a little bit and join the original track. I really like that idea. And we want to do the same thing here. Over the course of a couple of notes, we want to adjust the slope. So you go like so. Look at that. It added up perfectly. I just love how this turned out. Man freaking camera there we go the first businesses are joining and as predicted this is hooking up however we need to bring electricity to the new train station and i suspect yeah water hasn't been done yet i'm gonna be right back as soon as we have more demand for industry i'm gonna continue on the good damn industry we can fill up this entire district with shopping obviously once we have it developed we need to hook it up to the public transport otherwise it's not gonna be utilized very much and then we can zone more and more residential in this place. So we have all the things covered. This is just absolutely amazing. By the way, let's do that. We're not going to do anything here. Actually, I decided to go with a little zoo. I found that idea very appealing. Anyway, so let's keep going with the zoning just a little bit. And with that, our demand for everything is disappearing, which, well, is a good sign. But it also means we have to wait and observe a little bit. Alright, as the new parts here develop, I think we need a bunch more connections. I already made a little connection here. I'm not sure if this is gonna be permanent or not, but for now we desperately need it to hook things up. There we go. This is approximately what I would like to see. Okay, it's time to activate the museum. So let's do some detail work around it. Not too much yet, you know, just the essentials. We're gonna have some parking spots right next to it. Now it looks as though we'll have to make some corrections here with the roads. Yeah, this is kind of crazy. You need to come up, you need to come down a little bit. Oh man, looks like we still have to do a little bit of landscaping around this. There we go, already much better. Now this actually fits. Let's have a look into some more unique buildings. What could we set up on the other side? I always wanted this panda sanctuary, it is too large. The Oriental Tower. Ooh, this could actually be a thing for... Wow. This is definitely a thing for here. Just check this out. It was crazy. I'm gonna set up a road right here and we're actually gonna place this down right away. Come on. I wanna deactivate this. So now we know what actually goes in here. Screw the zoos. Screw the animals. 
there it is the statue of shopping this is the perfect thing to build on the other side of the museum we can even set up a little park structure here maybe yeah that could be an ideal place for another park however i'm not really in the mood to build a park today I guess what we can do is at least get the park started. I need to have a look at the area there. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be a tiny park, but I think it's going to contribute a lot to the look. Um, okay, that, that, that was not my intention, guys. I hope you are going to fix your behavior. Time for a bunch of pathways. This is also visually going to remind me that I want to set up a park here. Maybe we're even going to have a side gate. I mean, why not? We are crazy bastards like that. One side gate for you guys and hook this up. Great. Okay, I think we're done with this. As per usual, name suggestions for this one as well. That's in the shopping district right here. Zoning new stuff always offsets my vehicle count and the amount of people using public transport. But that is just the price we have to pay. I mean, we have 31 million at this point and we haven't run into money problems in quite a while, I would say. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill out this entire area. We can take the hit. We can definitely take the hit. This might be the end of the city destroying everything. Just like in the Road to a Million series, when we hit a certain mark, the entire city was just breaking down. It was kind of hilarious. In this case, I also want to continue zoning a little bit more of the industry parts there. I'm actually really looking forward to when this is all filled out. I think it's gonna look awesome. It already looks great here. Actually, how much are you upgraded, you guys? Uh, show me that. Um, some are getting there, but I think, yeah, we need to cover this stuff with more services. Did we place down? No, nothing. Okay. If I can, I would like to get a clinic in the joint, but the slope is too steep. Can I use uh, prop? No, uh, the prop anarchy doesn't work for that. So in this case, I'm going to set it up right here next to the roundabout. That is good enough. Let's also take care of the dead people. Um, this is the road to do that. This is industry, so uh, we need to be careful. They don't need as many services or not the same services, at least. We already have fire protection. Ah, I remember police and fire we actually did set up in the district. Just not very nearby. But I do hear a lot of people upgrading now. Yeah, look at that. All of the white houses just upgraded. That is good. Good damn industry. Demand is going down again. I wonder, could we zone more residential? What did I have in mind with this district? Let me actually have a look at that. How do we continue this? Yes. Oh, I remember. We wanted to set up a beach area for this. So I'm going to try to provoke a beach scenario in this place. That means we also want maybe more tourism. Mm, I think for now what we can do safely is zone whatever we have here adjacent to the big road. Maybe some of it I'm gonna tear down in order to set up more roads. Looks like we could maybe have another connection up to the dam. Actually, let's try that. I want to go with a wooden bridge once again. And so what happens if I do this, for instance? Yeah, nothing good happens. Yeah, looks like the cable car is slightly in the way, but I could do that and, you know, fix it later. We go like so, we go like so and join up with you. Okay, let's try to make this slope tool magic. All of this nice slope, please. Uh, well... I guess it's our own fault for not having the perfect adjustment. Okay, now it is actually a nice slope. Want to go ahead and upgrade this road, which I can't. Can I upgrade it? Yeah, I can use Road Anarchy to upgrade that. Now, technically, could I move this up without destroying anything? Looks like I can. Just move it up slightly, move this down. Or did I mean to move it? I think I meant to move it down, actually. <laughs> No, actually, I meant to move it up so I can get the lines out of the way. Uh, lines, w wait, what are these called? Like the steel ropes. <laughs> so now if I move this up a little bit and move this down, we cannot complain too much except this last little bit here. Yeah, it is a finicky sometimes, but I think it's kind of working out. Let's wrap up this connection. No, did I just delete? Why did it? Come on. So I just meant to go in here. Okay, well, we'll tend to that another time. It is now an established connection and maybe some people are gonna appreciate it. But yeah, with that out of the way, we once again have no demand. Now let's check out the train situation because apparently we... Uh... <laughs> oh, we did not fix it. Let me have a look at that. Wait, what? Where did this originate? Now everything is clearing up again. I just don't understand. 
<sighs> okay, well, trains are not my issue today. Let's take care of this roundabout. I just saw how wonky that is, and I think today we should fix that. Instead of six lanes, I actually meant to go with three lanes. So for that, it needs to be a highway. Now, if we can, I would like to move up half of the way of the roundabout. So what happens if we slope this? And then we take a new selection and slope this as well. Then it is still a freaking mess. Okay. So I think what we might want to do is just bring all of the road here to the same level and go from there. Yes, okay, there we go. Already much better. I know this created some artificial cliffs, but that's something I can easily deal with. Okay, looks like we found the train problem. Look at this node and the length here. So this is totally not working out. If I move... Wait, wait, wait. If I move you back a little bit and then move this node back as well. Uh, I like how I dedicate my entire time to this train track while in the background stuff is burning. But honestly, we seem to have another issue here. I also have to move the nodes here in the back. This guy is moving so weirdly. I don't even know what you want to do. Okay, looks like now it is a little bit better. Trains that actually want to go to this cargo station can do so. The question is just why are you guys getting holed up? Wait, is it about the export again? Because it looks as though here it is quite fluent and then... No, it cannot be about the export if it is fluent here. So the problem definitely originates where we just looked at. Uh, let's just forget about it. Everything is fine. Uh, did you guys uh, survive? Yeah, okay. So there's nothing to complain about, really. Ah, okay, there we go. You, I don't want you to move into the intersection. What if I move this up a little bit? Move this up a little bit? Come on, you just need a little more space. Is this enough? No, just a tad more. This guy needs to go straight. So just a tad, and I'm of course destroying the train track in the process, so we'll have to fix that. Okay, now the node is far enough. Oh, please, just, just, come on. Just a little bit, just, please. Ah, uh, okay, so that was the sweet spot. Thank you. Man, train maintenance, it's gonna be my downfall. Okay, now I think I have to let this develop for a little bit. Everything seems to be fine in terms of leisure. Wow, these guys are really loving it. Is that the influence of the museum? I mean, what else do we have? Maybe it's the park structure here. And then do we have a park? No, we don't have a park here. What is giving this so much leisure? This is insane. But that's good. That means we can just leave this be. Everyone is happy. Man, hold the phone. I think I know what happened. Okay, wait, let me read tooltips. Uh, I need to find a unique building. Was it the space elevator? Why do I have a 100% coverage? It must be one of the buildings that I placed, but it seems as though I don't even need parks anymore. Everyone is just at full capacity in terms of uh, leisure. Not sure if I like that or hate it, but I'm still gonna, you know, place down parks. But yeah, guys, with that out of the way, I'm gonna wrap it up for today's episode. I sure hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great time and see you soon. Bye-bye.